Audrey Truett grew up in Rapid City and has been dancing since the age of five. She was also involved in many sports growing up, but dance was her passion. And once I got to high school, it started getting a bit more difficult trying to balance school and other sports and dance, so I decided to just put all my time and effort into dancing. We have so many videos of her dancing, um, teaching herself how to do an aerial in the grass outside. Um, she was always trying to improve and um, danced all the time. When she decided to join a competitive dance team, that lit a fire under her. She wanted more. She began traveling and doing summer intensives, and when the time came, deciding on dance as a career. She attended AMDA, a performing arts school in LA. The next step, sign with a talent agency and move to LA. Our eyes were opened and going, oh my gosh, how are we gonna leave our baby in this city? And you know, there was just a lot of things that went into play, but we, our faith kind of kept us grounded and knowing that she's in God's hands, not ours. And so um, we just, prayed through that and hoped that, you know, she would do well and be safe. At 22 years old, Audrey is making her dreams come true, not without a lot of grit and hard work. You know, it can be exhausting at times, I'm not going to lie. The LA life is very fast, fast, fast paced and you see everyone around you. It seems like they're booking the jobs of their dreams and everyone's doing what they love. So it's like this constant competition, but you have to remember like I always have to sit back and it's like you're not in competition with anyone else. You are focused on your own goals, your own dreams, and that all happens in its own time. Audrey began booking jobs on commercials, movies like House Party, TV shows like The Masked Singer, and the BET Awards. Her latest gig, dancing beside superstar Beyonce in a performance in Dubai. We were freaking out a little bit um, during that day and just her experience of being in another country and just all of it was quite a beautiful experience for her. She says she owes a lot to her support system. I have been so blessed. Like my family is like my, they're my biggest supporters, my closest friends. They continue to support me every day. Um, even my dance studio, Prima, they have helped me so, so much and I'm so thankful for them. There were a lot of emotions, honestly. Audrey's had to endure a lot on her journey through dance. And so to see her where she is today um, is really exciting. And there's, you know, her studio support, family, and everyone that's been there to support her is, is wonderful. And everybody is so excited to see her achieving that because they know the hard work that she's put into it. As Audrey continues a career in dance, she also hopes to inspire the younger generation of performers. So my advice to anyone that is in the performing arts, especially like in South Dakota, stay dedicated and keep pushing and do your research. I think that's like the biggest thing. I feel like sometimes, I know for myself growing up, I felt like I was in a bubble and I was, you know, so nervous that I'm like, can I make it? Can I do the things that I love? And honestly, there's so many different avenues and outlets you can take. I remember when I first went to college in AMDA, I was really behind. I really was. And I had to work really, really hard to get where I am now and to really like know who you are. And I know that sounds cliche, especially for maybe like younger people hearing that, but before you like California can suck you up. It's a lot of people and there's a lot of people in the industry telling you to be like this or to look like this. And it's really important to stand your ground and know who you are and you can take a moment for yourself. It can happen from anywhere. All you gotta do is have the drive, have the passion, believe, and anything is possible.